Um, let's see. Do you have any preference on two shot or a single? No, not at all. Okay. Just do whatever it works. I'll go with two shot. Ones. <laughs> and no, not that. Not this that. sounds so cool. Camera's it's like the it's like the best book I ever read. I don't read it. It's all right. Thanks. <laughs> you do like to read a lot, right? Yeah. yeah. Are you, are I haven't even heard of that. Um, uh, it is a Swedish author. I read Swedish. I read Swedish. <laughs> 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 are you rolling? Should we go? Yep. Yeah. Camera roll. Thanks. Um, about water for elephants. We're talking about books. Mm. Um, what did you did you read the book first, or did you get the script, or how did you choose um, to say yes to the movie? I met Francis, the director, um, at the place where Ty, the elephant, lives. And that was the first thing I, before I read the script or anything. And I spent the day with him and Ty and just talking about the story and stuff. I'd actually told him I'd read the script, but I hadn't read it, so I was just kind of making it up. <laughs> um, but I had such a good time with the elephant that I was, I kind of went home, I read the script on the way back. and kind of already wanted to do it before I even read the script and I was thinking like it fit in like I like the 30s in America I like I like the depression I like the look of it and stuff and I kind of wanted to do a movie about that anyway yeah. um, and everything sort of seemed to fit into place yeah. and when they said Reese and Christoph were attached I was like okay this yeah. this is like done <laughs> so um, Reese told us that um, that there were lots of fans on set what for you that were looking for you but when when they, when they meet you, what do they ask you for? Um, nothing particularly exciting. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, just just to say hello, really. Yeah. I mean, generally I think they're quite disappointed. I mean, like, I think, uh, <laughs> like, I think most of the time they'd appreciate not seeing you more than seeing you. Um, because it's then it's just you know what are you gonna if you if you're going to a set every day for like 50 days to see someone you obviously have like your expectation is gonna be so high but it's gonna mean uh, unless someone just like levitates in front of you or something that's <laughs> like this but I mean like I think seeing the tiniest glimpse of someone in a car I think people appreciate it more have don't know why have you ever been a fanboy um not really I used to there was a show called Gladiators yeah. on, like it was like American Gladiators, like um, when I was a kid, and there was a girl on it called Jet, yeah. and uh, <laughs> she was like, I was kind of obsessed with her when I was about eight. Yeah. But um, you don't have any like secret obsessions that you YouTube at night. Uh, I I do look at a lot of Van Morrison live videos. Like I'm like, kind of obsessed with that, and also. Like um, that, I watch a lot of uh, like um, those like America's funniest honey, funniest home videos <laughs> and stuff like those stupid things. Like I don't know why I find like I like seeing people fall over a lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you've been voted like best dressed man, man from like several magazines and awards and stuff. I mean, and I guess you must have been approached like from several designers and fashion houses like to be their face or to do like your own line or whatever, but you've never done any commercial work, you've never done any like advertising or promoting anything, mm. how come? Um, I just think, I don't know why I do it, like it's not fun for me and I just think you look like a bit stupid afterwards, I mean. Because I mean a lot of your peers do it. Yeah, I don't know why, I don't know why they do it, I guess, well I do know why, it's <laughs> <laughs> for money. <laughs> but, uh, I know why girls do it, because I think it's a different, it's a totally different thing in, in a girl's career. Because, uh, you know, girl, the more girls buy fashion magazines and stuff, but guys don't. So I don't understand why they would do it, but I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, the last question as well. Um, for you to work, to work now with Academy Award winning Reese mm -hmm. and Christoph, I mean, did, you, did you learn anything from them? Like anything in particular? I mean, not that I could like put my finger on. I mean, I think just working with good people, you just kind of. Whenever I work with really good actors for a while afterwards, you are a better actor. And so if you just consistently work with good actors all the time, you'll be better. And hopefully, you'll get better and better. <laughs>